the video is in here today, but it's such a lovely day outside that I'll stay inside and rip some cards. It's a blaster of opening day. These are half about half the price of a normal blaster, ten forty nine. And you get ten packs plus one extra. So which is pretty awesome. I think. As I've said in our other videos, I think this is probably my favorite my favorite product overall. Here are the packs. Um, yesterday I went to the the Negro League Baseball Museum, which is in which is in Kansas City, downtown Kansas City. Um, I've lived in Kansas for about four years. I've always wanted to go. Finally, finally did it. <laughs> finally pulled the trigger. Um, it's not the Negro League Hall of Fame. There is no such thing because Cooperstown is the Baseball Hall of Fame. That's you can't. I guess they own the rights. You can't call it a Hall of Fame. If you ever go to their website, specifically, they say like we're not a Hall of Fame. And uh, and it's probably it's having having gone there, it's sort of it's hard to compete with the Baseball Hall of Fame. They had some interesting stuff, nice relics, but all the major stuff I imagine is in Cooperstown. Which I've never been to, but you know, someday. Uh, anyway, the point of that story is that this is a Kansas City Monarchs hat I've bought there. Maybe I'll pull a Buck O'Neill. Probably not. It says look for autograph cards. I don't remember if if there were autographs previously in opening day. I don't think there were. Maybe maybe you, if I open 568 packs of these, I'm gonna find an autograph. <laughs> Let's see what I got. Pack one. I'll just show the highlights. Um, Nigel Morgan. Neat little photo there. Um, Matt Kent Blue. What's great about these is that this year they've gone back to the foil stamping of the numbers rather than the computer generated numbers. They also, I don't, I don't remember previous years if they've done, they've done that. They foil stamp April fifth, two thousand twelve, as well. On the front, um, Royals mascot. Again, that's why I love the set. I love mascot cards. Here's a, a Gio Gonzalez as a national, which I think is the first card for that. I don't think any of the inserts are going to top the. Glow in the dark ones from last year, but we shall see. See, here's Trevor Cahill as a Diamondback. Melky Cabrera as a Giant. Um, inserts we got Billy Butler, Fantasy Squad. Uh, one of those 3D cards of Albert Pujols as an Angel. Felix Hernandez throwing a changeup. Elite skills player, this insert set. Um, <laughs> Michael Kadire, a personal you know favorite of mine, as a longtime twin. Now he's with the Rockies. This isn't gonna you know make the headlines for players. You know as as much as the Albert Pujols as a Angel card, the Jose Reyes as a Mariners card didn't the. Uh, Flagship set, but still. The CC Sabathia set, I don't think CC is going to be happy with this photo. <laughs> not, not the most flattering. Pack four. Superstar Celebrations, Justin Upton. The Freak. <laughs> Pack five. They're putting ads every once in a while for the new 2012 sticker set, which is going to come out soon, I guess. Um, Wally the Green Monster for the Red Sox.
this is also the first set, like Sergio Santos as a Blue Jay. The first set that has Photoshop versions of, you know, them the Marlins in their new Miami Marlins outfits. Uniforms, not outfits. Michael Young, fantasy. Here's another, well, Adam Wainwright even gets a card, even though he didn't actually play in 2011. Eric Hosmer. Another blue, uh, Mike Trout. Barry Zito, um, Elite Skills. You don't see a lot of Barry Zito inserts too often. I don't know what pack number we're on, but we've got four left. <laughs> Brian Wilson. The beard is just outrageous. Uh, Dan Ugla. Doing the Bash Brothers with Brian McCann. Evan Longoria, the Heritage cover boy. Justin Murnau. Gapper, the Cincinnati Reds mascot. Almost to the last one, second to last pack. Henley Ramirez in the New Jersey. Ryan Braun, Fantasy Squad. A Tim Linscombe 3D. I don't know if you can see it. I'm gonna sort of see it. Last pack. A uh, R. A. Dickey <laughs> Elite. Elite uh, Squad. No, Elite Skills. And, yeah, that's it. Last card is Drew Stubbs. So, yeah, not too bad. Two blues, which are on a 2012, so I'm pretty happy about who I pulled. Matt Kemp and Mike Trout. <laughs> and a whole bunch of mascot cards, which I'll probably collect the set, as I've done previously. So... Anyway, I highly recommend opening day. It gets a bad rap. Don't buy blasters of the regular. Buy, buy opening day. Until next time.